happy day my dear kids today we are going to see new chapter squares and rectangles properties of squares and rectangles now we are going to see the properties of squares as first look at the figure figure a is a square this is called a square a square is a four sided figure how many sides are there for a square 1 2 3 4 4 sides are there for a square is it all the sides are equal yes it has four equal sides all the four sides have five rows okay so see here in this side 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 rows at the same time opposite side also we have same five rows from this side and this side up and down how many columns are there 1 2 3 4 5 so up and down we have the same five columns five rows and five columns which means all the four sides are equal its opposite sides are parallel parallel means this line is equal to this line yes so this is parallel to this line next it has four right angles how many right angles are there four right angles all the corners of the squares this is the corner the two line segment intersect each other this point is called corner at each corner we get an angle so here we get an angle as right angle right angle means 90 degree l shape if the angle gets l shape then it is called as 90 degree right angle 90 degree means right angle so all the four corners we have l shape so we call that as right angles therefore a square has four right angles four equal sides opposite sides are parallel it has four right angles the this is also called as square how we are saying this as a square does the square have four sides yes 1 2 3 4 does the square have four equal sides yes it has four equal sides how we can say it here look at this side 15 cm opposite side also 15 cm up and down also 15 cm so all the four sides have same length so we call it as four equal sides and the opposite sides are parallel see this is parallel to this line and this line is parallel to this line ps is parallel to qr pq is parallel to sr okay now finally last property is it has four right angles see here l shape this corner also q corner also has l shape this corner also have this or corner also has l shape this corner also has l shape this corner also has l shape so all the four corners have l shape l shape represents the right angle 90 degree okay here then the notches shows that the length of all sides are equal what is called notches notches means the line which line which has drawn over the square see small lines drawn so this is called notches and the arrow head shows that the opposite sides are parallel these are the arrow heads which shows the opposite sides are parallel we can say all these concept in the form as in square pq or as the length of each sides is 15 cm which means all the four sides pq qr rs and sp all the four sides have same length as 15 cm the notches represents the square has two pairs of parallel sides two pairs of parallel sides means pq is parallel to sr and ps is parallel to qr as we have seen pq this line is parallel to this line so pq is parallel to sr and ps is parallel to qr so therefore two parallel lines are there two parallel sides are there measure of angle p is equal to measure of angle q is measure of angle r is equal to measure of angle s is equal to 90 degree as i said already all the four corners have l shape 
which represents 90 degree 90 degree means right angle therefore we got right angle at all the four corners okay children going to see the property of rectangles figure b is a rectangle what are the properties which we are going to see first a rectangle is a four sided figure so this is called a rectangle which has four sides one two three four its opposite sides are of equal length this is the second property it opposite sides are of equal length how many opposite sides are there look at here one for this line opposite side is this second line okay so these two lines are of equal length opposite sides are of equal length in the side la 15 cm irundha in the side liyum 15 cm dhaan irukum rectangle similarly up and down we have two lines right so the length of this line is equal to the length of the opposite line so these two sides are equal in length okay so this is the second property and third one its opposite sides are parallel as i said already for square the opposite sides are parallel which means which are in the same direction and side and and these two sides are also parallel this line is parallel to this line okay so its opposite sides are parallel it has four right angles as i said already for square all the corners have l shape right one l shape here also we get l shape this corner also we get l shape in this corner also we get l shape so if the corners have l shape we call that as a right angle and the angle for that is 90 degree if the uh, angle point is of l shape and the two lines intersect at the same point then we call it as a right angle 90 degree okay so for this we have an example which is given this is of rectangle shape let we check look at this side wx wx is of length 15 cm and similarly zy is of length 15 cm both sides we have same length 15 cm so these two sides are equal and opposite sides 15 these two lines are parallel also similarly look at these two sides w z and x y these two sides we have 25 cm the length of these two sides are 25 cm and these two lines are of opposite sides so we call this as two parallel lines opposite sides are parallel and equal w x y z is a rectangle here w z and x y are of length 25 cm and w is x z y are of length 15 cm therefore we got two different lengths but two lines have same length opposite sides have same length and how we can say this as parallel w x is parallel to z y and w z is parallel to x y according to the angle already i say that angle w x angle w angle x angle y angle z shows a right angle right angle means 90 degree look at the figure find unknown angle measures here what we are going to do is if the angle is not given for any point any corner we have to find the angle for that shape okay look at this shape what is the name of the shape rectangle because two opposite sides are of equal length so this is called a rectangle in this rectangle center we have a line at the center which means this is called a diagonal line uh, opposite corners opposite corners are connected to each other then this line is called a diagonal okay here the angle 35 degree is given but opposite to the we know that all angles in a rectangle are right angles right angle means all the angle have 90 degree but in this point below the diagonal line 35 degree is given but above the diagonal line the angle is not given it is represented as a so we have to find the 
angle for a measure of angle a how we have to measure already we know that all angles in a rectangle or right angle right angle means 90 degree so this is of 90 degree total angle of this corner is called 90 degree a part of the angle is given as 35 degree so if we subtract 35 from 90 degree then we will get the remaining as remaining angle value of a so for this corner the total angle is 90 degree 90 minus partition angle 35 90 degree minus partition angle 35 we will get 55 so what is the value of angle a 35 55 degree okay so 90 degree minus 35 degree is equal to 55 degree what shape is this this is a square how we can say this as a square all the four sides are of equal length all the four sides are of equal length and similarly according to the property of a square all the corners have the right angle all angles in a square are right angles so here also a line is drawn to the opposite sides in a square here below the line below the center line b angle b is given but we uh, we don't know the value of angle b above the line the value of angle is given 40 degree as i said already for a square we have all the all angles in a square or right angles here in this corner also the total angle is 90 degree we have to subtract 40 degree from 90 degree to get the partition value so 90 minus 40 is 50 90 degree minus 40 degree is 50 degree therefore measure of angle b is 50 degree here let's do is given you have to find the i will do one sum for you look at the first sum this is a square here we know that all angles in a square all angles in a square are right angles right angles means 90 degree so for this angle this corner point also we get an angle as 90 degree so from 90 degree partition value partition angle is given 45 degree is given above the line we have to find the angle below the line so from 90 degree if you subtract 45 degree then we will get the angle of a measure of angle of a so 90 minus 45 is 45 degree if you subtract these two value then we will get the measure of angle of a okay next finding unknown lens now we are going to find the length of the side look at the figure a b c d e f this is of different shape we have to separate the given shape into two parts a b c d e f is made up of a square and a rectangle look at this figure if we draw a dotted line over here straight horizontal line then we will get the rectangle as a b c and f we will get this if we see below this dotted line we will get a square of same length for all the four sides so this is called a square so we have to find the length of bc we have to find the length of bc how we have to find it look at here the total length of af is 15 which means b to this point this total length of this opposite uh, length opposite sides are of equal length as we know that so for this we get 15 cm from b to this point okay if we cut this using a horizontal line see here this is of this is like a square this is this is a square so for this square this angle is this side the length of the side is given de is equal to 6 cm using the property of a square all the four sides are of equal length so this is all the four sides are of equal length 
therefore all the sides we have the length as 6 cm 6 cm 6 cm and this is uh, this side also we get 6 cm so from b to this point we got two values one is 15 cm for hole another one is c to this point is 6 cm so we have to subtract to find this b to c we have to subtract 6 from 15 ok to find bc we have to subtract 6 from 15 so 15 minus 6 is 9 cm therefore the length of bc is 9 cm the length of bc is 9 cm by using the property of square and rectangle we find the value of bc the length of bc ok look at the next problem Figure PQ or figure PQ or as TU is made up of two rectangles. PQ or yes TU is made up of two rectangles. So if you look at this figure, if you draw a dotted line vertically over here, then we get this one rectangle and here also we get another rectangles, two rectangles. Okay. As we know the property for rectangle, opposite sides of rectangles are of equal length. Here we have to find what is the length of QR. QR means this length. Okay. Uh, look at here. In this rectangle, in this rectangle PQ and UT, this rectangle, one side's length is 3 cm. If PQ, if PU is 3 meter, then opposite side of that rectangle is also 3 meter so we got this value this is also 3 meter similarly look at here TS is of 4 meter means opposite side of the rectangle also same so this point from here to R we will get 4 meter so we have to find the length of QR. Now we have to combine these two lengths. Q to this point and this point to R. So 3 plus 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7 meter. Hope you all understand. By using the property of a rectangle that the opposite sides of rectangles are of equal length. We find the answer by using addition by combining these two lengths together we got qr as 7 meter therefore the length of qr is 7 meter hope you all understand look at this figure figure a b c d e is made up of a square and a rectangle look at here a b c d e f if you draw a line over here, dotted line over here, we can draw two lines. See here, we can draw like this also or like this also. If you draw like this, here we get a square and a rectangle. If you draw a dotted line over here, then we will get two rectangles, one rectangle and two rectangle. Here we have to find the value of AF, length of AF. For this, we have to draw a dotted line over here ok then it will be very easy for you if these uh, this is called a square right this is called a square all the four sides are of equal length in a square so if EFE is 6 cm and A to this point is also considered as 6 cm yes Similarly, DC is of length 8 cm means the opposite side of DC is also of length 8 cm. So, if you add these together, what will we get? 6, 6 plus 8. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14, 14 cm. Then, look at here. E, e, by considering this as a square, all the four sides are of equal length. So, AB is equal, the length of AB is equal to all the four sides. 
so ab is the value the length of ab is 14 means the length of af af is also 14 cm okay therefore the length of af is 14 cm hope you all understand how to do this okay similarly you have to do the practice problems by yourself next one is drawing four sided figures let me draw rectangle drawing rectangles draw a rectangle a b c d in which a b is centimeters 5 and the length of a b is 5 centimeter and the length of a d is 3 centimeter so we have to draw a rectangle this is a rough figure we have to draw a rectangle AB's length is 5 cm and AD's length is 3 cm. By using the property of a rectangle, the opposites, the length of the opposite sides are equal. The length of the opposite sides are equal. If AD is 3 cm, BC is also 3 cm. If AB is 5 cm, the length of DC is also 5 cm. Because these two sides are of same length because these two are of opposite sides similarly these two sides are of same length because it is in opposite sides how to draw a rectangle by using the given measurement first we have to draw a line segment a b of length 5 centimeter which means 5 centimeter long so take a point we have to start a point over here like this okay from here you have to draw a line segment you with 5 cm inge rendu idu varaikku ungalku inge start pannite 5 cm vara varaikku scale use panni 5 cm measurement la mark pannikonga okay draw a line segment ab 5 cm long which means we have to start a point right like this here this is the origin of a scale. 0 will start panic. No, here is 5 cm. Here is 5 cm. So, here is a dot. Vechite. So, in the dot, in the, in the dot, in the dot, you can join a line. Join panic. No. Okay. Line join panic. 5 cm. Mark panic. Then, draw a line segment perpendicular to line segment AB through point A. So, line segment perpendicular draw panda. Perpendicular na in the right angle so in the previous chapter la so we have to draw a perpendicular line perpendicular line segment ab ab ku perpendicular line segment draw pananum adu eppadi nu na irukkenave solirken so use this z square origin irukku liya in the origin in the origin la indha mari z square kondu poi vechikkanum origin la vechittu indha inge nama or line draw pananum liya ab 5 cm nu so and that and that and the line can be run a mid number point set square fix panic no okay so if you fix panna the cup wrong in a panel on a in the side is open a square and drop on your call yeah in the side line number a learn the her vertical line drop on a learn the empty drop on a vertical line drop on other than perpendicular l shape lower than that is called a perpendicular line so if you fix funny turn number a ला रंदे vertical line draw पनानो ये वालो centimeters को draw पनानो ये d और डे length तेना सोलिर कौन three cent three centimeters सोलिर कौन लिया so अपन ये ला रंदे three centimeters रख रहे थे लो एक point बच्चे so इन दातला point बच्चे इंगे रंदे इन द point वाली को एक line draw पनानो so इधर डे length तेना three centimeter इधर draw पन्नी मुड़चे द कपरो we will get the figure like this draw panni mudichadhu kaprom indha mari namalukku oru figure kadikum okay so ipo enna pananumna opposite sides draw pannu liya adukku enna pananum again we have to use z square z square use pananum indha side namba draw pannitom indha side namba draw panniyaachu ipo enna pananum z square use panni opposite side draw pananum so in a point la vechi vertical line draw panniyaachu adhe mari b point la origin z square oda origin la vechi indha keela line ku line oda we have to fix it on the line. Line mala fix panita. Again, opposite side la three centimeter line drop on. So draw paniacha. 
உங்களுக்கு புரியும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஸோ எஷர்மெண்ட் த்ரீ எங்கே இருக்கோ அந்த இடத்துல ஒரு பாயிண்ட் வச்சுட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் கூட நீங்கள் லைன் ட்ரா பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஸோ ட்ரா பண்ணிங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு ஃபிக்ஸ் பண்ணிட்டு ட்ரா பண்ணிங்கன்னா உங்களுக்கு இந்த மாதிரி லைன் கிடைக்கும் ஸோ வி கெட் த்ரீ லைன்ஸ் சி ஹ வி ஹாவ் ட்ரான் ஏடி திஸ் இஸ் கால்டு ஏடி இந்த பாயிண்ட் என்ன சொல்லியிருக்கோம்னா டின்னு சொல்லியிருக்கோம் இல்லையா டி ஸோ எவ்வளோ மீ சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் மார்க் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் த்ரீ சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் ஏடி எவ்வளோ சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் ட்ரா பண்ணியிருக்கோம் த்ரீ சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ் அதே மாதிரியே செட் ஸ்கொயர் யூஸ் பண்ணி பி இந்த சைடும் த்ரீ சென்டிமீட்டர்ஸ்க்கு ட்ரா பண்ணியாச்சு நவ் ஜாயின் தீஸ் டூ பாயிண்ட்ஸ் இங்கேருந்து இந்த பாயிண்ட்டுக்கு ஒரு லைன் ட்ரா பண்ணுங்கள் ஸோ பாயிண்ட் கார்னர் இந்த பாயிண்ட்டையும் இந்த பாயிண்ட்டையும் ஜாயின் பண்ணிட்டிங்கன்னா அதோட லென்த் என்னவாக இருக்கும் கண்டிப்பாக ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டராக தான் இருக்கும் ஸோ ஆப்போசிட் சைடு ஆஃப் ரெக்டாங்கிள் ஆர் ஈக்குவல்னு சொன்னோம் இல்லையா ஸோ அந்த ப்ராப்பர்ட்டி படி தீஸ் டூ சைட்ஸ் ஆர் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர் லென்த் அண்ட் இன் திஸ் வே வி ஹாவ் டு ட்ரா அ ரெக்டாங்கிள் லுக் எட் த ப்ராப்ளம் ட்ரா அ ரெக்டாங்கிள் ஏபிசிடி இன் விச் ஏபி இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு சிக்ஸ் சென்டிமீட்டர் அண்ட் பிசி இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர் ஹியர் வாட் வி ஹாவ் டு டூ த லென்த் ஆஃப் பிசி இஸ் ஃபைவ் சென்டிமீட்டர் கிவன் வி ஹாவ் டு ட்ரா அ ரெக்டாங்கிள் ஸோ பிசிங்கிற லைன் அவங்களே கொடுத்துட்டாங்க ஃப்ரம் பை யூஸிங் திஸ் லைன் வி ஹாவ் டு ட்ரா அ ரெக்டாங்கிள் இங்கே ஏபி என்ன சொல்லியிருக்காங்க ஏபி சிக்ஸ் சென்டிமீட்டர்னு சொல்லியிருக்காங்க சிக்ஸ் அதாவது பி எங்கே இருக்கு இங்கே இருக்குது அப்போ இங்கேருந்து நம்ம ஒரு வெர்டிக்கல் லைன் ட்ரா பண்ணணும் அதுதான் ஏபி லெட் வி ட்ரா பை யூஸிங் ஸ்கொயர் செட் ஸோ இங்கே இருக்கு இல்லையா ஸ்கொயர் செட் நம்ம என்ன பண்ணணும் இந்த ஆரிஜின் இந்த ஆரிஜினில் நம்ம செட் ஸ்கொயரை வச்சுக்கணும் லைக் திஸ் லைன் மேலே வச்சாச்சு இல்லைங்களா ஆரிஜின்லேருந்து ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணி ஸோ இப்படி வச்சாச்சு நம்மளுக்கு எவ்வளோ சென்டிமீட்டர் மார்க் பண்ணணும் சிக்ஸ் சென்டிமீட்டர் ஸோ இங்கே எங்கே இருக்குது சிக்ஸ் சென்டிமீட்டர் இங்கேருந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சிக்ஸ் சென்டிமீட்டர் இங்கே இருக்குது நீங்கள் இந்த இடத்துல ஒரு பாயிண்ட் வச்சுக்கலாம் ஸோ இந்த பாயிண்ட் வரைக்கும் லைன் ட்ரா பண்ணியாச்சு ஓகே இப்போ என்ன பண்ணணும் ஆப்போசிட் சைடில் லைன் ட்ரா பண்ணணும் இல்லையா அதுக்கும் நம்ம இந்த ஸ்கொயர் செட்டே யூஸ் பண்ணிக்கலாம் அதுக்கு என்ன பண்ணணும் மறுபடியும் ஸ்கொயர் செட்டை இந்த மாதிரி வச்சுக்கணும் கீழே இருக்கு இல்லையா லைன் பீசிங்கிற லைன் இருக்கு இல்லையா இந்த லைன் இந்த லைன் மேலே கரெக்டாக ஃபிக்ஸ் ஆகிற மாதிரி வச்சுக்கணும் அப்போ தான் நம்மளுக்கு மெஷர்மெண்ட் மாறாது ஸோ இப்படி வச்சுட்டு என்ன பண்ணணும் சிக்ஸ் சென்டிமீட்டர் கிட்ட ஆக பண்ணணும் சிக்ஸ் சென்டிமீட்டர் இங்கே இருக்கு இல்லையா இப்படி ஒரு லைன் ட்ரா பண்ணணும் ஓகே ஸோ இந்த மாதிரி ட்ரா பண்ணிட்டோம் இல்லையா இந்த மாதிரி ட்ரா பண்ணதுக்கப்புறம் இந்த ஆப்போசிட் டூ பாயிண்ட்ஸ் மார்க் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் இல்லையா இங்கே ஒரு பாயிண்ட்டும் இங்கே ஒரு பாயிண்ட்டும் இந்த ரெண்டு பாயிண்ட்டையும் நம்ம கனெக்ட் பண்ணணும் ஹோப் யூ ஆல் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் த கான்செப்ட் தேங்க்யூ மை ஐடியா கிட்ஸ்